You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Bitcoin, Ether, Solana, Doge, and more. Cryptocurrencies and digital assets are taking the financial world by storm. This exploding market provides everything a savvy trader needs. Volatility, volume, and liquidity, provided you know how to find it. That's where we come in. Welcome to the Crypto Rundown. Each week, we'll break down the latest trading activity, trends, and developments throughout the world's leading crypto derivatives markets. If it's moving the crypto markets, then you'll find it on The Crypto Rundown. The Crypto Rundown is brought to you by Amber Data. If you're entering the digital asset class, you'll need access to granular on-chain and market data from multiple venues to power research, trading, risk management, and compliance. Amber Data delivers comprehensive data and insights into blockchain networks, crypto markets, and decentralized finance, empowering financial institutions to apply traditional finance methods to digital assets. Amber Data eliminates the infrastructure setup, integration challenges, and maintenance headaches to access digital asset data, reducing cost and time to market to enter the digital asset class. Learn more and download their digital asset data guide at www.amberdata.io. Now it's time to dive into the exploding world of crypto derivatives. It's time for the Crypto Rundown. All right, everybody. That music means we are back once again. Time to fire up the crypto analytics, see what's popping off in the land of crypto derivatives. Yes, it is time once again for the Crypto Rundown, your favorite, indeed the only program out there that really dives deep into the world of crypto derivatives. Anybody can talk to spot. We're here talking about the volume, the skew, the OI, the changes, unusual activity, all that fun going on on the other side of the fence, on the crypto derivative side of the fence. My name, of course, Mark Longo from the T-H-E, OptionsInsider.com, as well as from the network upon which all you folks continue to binge and mainline these days. Thanks for all you folks who continue to tune in and have been doing so on the network for 17 plus years, on this show for, oh, I want to say six and change at least. <laughs> I lose track. This one seems to me to still be the little engine that could, the new addition to the network, even though it's been running for a little bit if you like what you hear, this show, anything else on the network, throw a like, a star, a comment. A lot of you coming to us from the crypto world, a little bit newer to the world of options and derivatives. So you should be listening to the full network wherever you're getting this. Make sure you just search for Options Insider Radio Network, and you'll find all of our shows. You can also grab our app and all the big app stores as well. That'll get you everything. So if you want a little bit more options education to help understand some of these terms, we get you. If you like specific areas, like let's say futures options, we talk about crypto there this week in futures options, volatility on volatility views, all that stuff, it's all there on the network for you. So make sure you upgrade to the full network. It doesn't cost you anything. Then if you need to go above and beyond, a lot of people were asking us for years, can you add an additional layer above the network for us? Because we need more. We want more in our lives. And we say, okay. If you folks want it, we shall create it for you, theoptionsinsider.com slash pro. Not for everybody, but for the folks out there who need it, who want that in their lives, it is there for you. A lot of great stuff there, including a lot of great pro Q&As that dovetail into the world of crypto derivatives and volatility a lot these days, a surprising amount. So check that out. 300 plus episodes there, options oddities there as well, as well as, of course, all the new stuff I'm going to have coming at you from OIC this week. You folks get it all first, theoptionsinsider.com slash pro coming up. It's almost May, almost time to give away the pro trading crate for the month of April. My goodness, time flies when you're having fun and talking a little bit of crypto. So let's get to it with the Bitcoin breakdown. 
It's time to explore the latest trending activity, trends and developments across the world's leading crypto market. It's time for the Bitcoin Breakdown. All right, everybody, let's do it. Let's get a grip on the wild beast that is Bitcoin, with a little bit of the old Bitcoin breakdown. Going to just crunch the numbers today, listeners, because I have to head out to catch a plane. All right after the show, it is Options Industry Conference Week, so a big week in the world of options. You'll be hearing all that fun on the network. All the panel audio will be coming exclusively through us as well. So if you miss it, can't make it down there this year, for, maybe you just never heard of it before because you're coming from the world of crypto, we'll have all that panel audio for you too because we like you folks. So stay tuned to the network for all that fun. Speaking of fun, let's see what kind of fun we have popping off in the world of Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin kind of kind of holding pace right now as we come into showtime. Certainly not at its apex, but also not at its lows. You know what, listeners, let me re-rack those Bitcoin numbers out there because I'm getting updated numbers for you here. Bitcoin, the high coming today, 66,591, and the low coming also today. So a weird range out there, all intraday, uh, which again is probably why we're starting to see some of the vol numbers that we are. Uh, 62,879, so did a lot of living this past week, all of it today. <laughs> Interesting week out there, but is it enough to keep our vol, which was fairly juicy, is it enough to keep it up there? Uh, the answer is no. Remember, all this data coming at you courtesy of our friends over there at Amber Data, amberdata.io, the place to go to kick the tires and light the fires out there. If you want to see all these analytics, and trust me, there's a lot more there that we really don't have time to get to on the show. There's a ton of data. So if you are even remotely intrigued by all this data we're talking about, go over there, kick the tires on a free trial, cost you nothing, and see what's under the hood that may, maybe you're intrigued by all the shadow term structure. Maybe you like all these implied butterflies. Again, ton of stuff we don't have time to get to here on the show. We kind of just hit the facts, ma'am. And seven day vol out there in Bitcoin right now. So the weekly vol uh, coming in quite a bit, 67 and a half on the show last week and coming in to start of the show this week 53 and a third so coming in quite a bit over 14 handles on the week out there so ball kind of collapsing in the weekly side is that continuing going out a month on the more standardized 30-day vol measure the answer is yes 68 on the show last week 53 and a quarter this week so coming in not quite 15 points but pretty darn close the 180-day vol list, six-month vol, 73 on the show last week, 64.3. So drop in not quite nine handles on the week, about 8.7. So vol coming in across the board. You know, I, I'm not going to say that overused cliche in the market, the old sell in May and go away. I guess I did say it, but <laughs> we are approaching that start of May, listeners. Are we already starting to see the, the sell-off in vol in Bitcoin? I don't know. It's just kind of weird out there as we keep on rolling. Let's check out the SKU. Let's see what the SKU is telling us uh, for what the options are looking forward to, anticipating, perhaps dreading in the world of Bitcoin this week. Last week, the SKU was predominantly negative, negative two and a half on the seven-day SKU. It has swung in the other direction this week, so it's not quite a positive two, positive one and three quarters. So it has swung a little over four points to the upside this week, which is... Uh, interesting in and of itself on the weekly side. 30-day skew, negative 0.2, so it was pretty much flat last week. This week, a positive about 0.75 out there. So not a lot of evolution on the monthly skew in Bitcoin. Kind of been flat both weeks. Going out 180 days, three and a half last show. This week, 4.4. So longer-term vol in Bitcoin. I should say longer-term skew. Getting a little bit juicier. That's kind of interesting out there. So again, we always joke about the holdlers out there. But kind of interesting that it's increasing a little bit out there when everything else is, well, except for the near data stuff, is kind of lightening up, <laughs> I should say, out there. So a lot to unpack out there. As we keep on rolling, let's get out to the products. A lot of you folks like to trade in your securities account. Bitto, 2730 when we kicked off the show, down 1.6 points. Uh, the ADV kind of holding steady. It was 101. It's down about whopping 1,000 contracts in this time last week, but still looking pretty robust. Uh, the eight, today, 50,000 on the tape, so about halfway there. Got some time left. Recording a little bit earlier today because I have to catch a flight listener, so there's a chance it could hit it. Uh, Vol coming in like we're seeing across the board at a 61, down six points 
on the week. In terms of top positions, it's still the Jan 30s, 108,000 of those open right now. So those folks continue to ignore what I say about the dividends. They just want, they just want the upside in the calls. By the way, coming up on that dividend, it's not going to be as juicy, given the fact that we've sold off. Just don't expect the, what was it, $1.14 a contract or a share uh, last, uh, last month. I don't think we're going to be getting that. But bear in mind, if you are out there for the dividend, it is coming up, of course, at the beginning of the month. 71,000 contracts are number two of the Jan 35. So that's your size position. Let's go out to Mara as well. 18 and a quarter when we kicked off the show. Up exactly a dollar from last week. Uh, the ADV, 247,000 contracts, down 6,000. And also down quite a bit from when it was threatening VIX not too long ago. Over 400,000 contracts a day. VIX, of course, has soared to nearly a million contracts a day now. So a bit of a dichotomy between those two emerging ADV down to about a quarter of a million for Mara now, whereas VIX threatening a million out there. In terms of volume today, 145,000. So still time, like we said, to hit that 247. Got about 100,000 more on the tape. Probably could do it. Vol 111 down about four points. And the top dog position in Mara options right now, about 28,000 of the June 30s. As we keep on rolling, listeners, it's time to see what's popping off. And how things are lining up in the altcoin universe. It's time to move beyond Bitcoin and find out what's moving the rest of the crypto marketplace. It's time to boldly venture into the altcoin universe. All right, everybody, welcome to the altcoin universe, the portion of the show where we break down what the hell is going on out there in the rest of the crypto market outside of the big dog, which is Bitcoin, except for right now when we talk about market cap out there. Let's see what's popping off from a market cap perspective out here. Things coming in a little bit this week. Cost us about $18.4 billion to break into the market cap last week. This week, cost just $16.2 billion. So coming off $2.2 billion out there. All that still in Cardano. Cardano still the number 10 spot. Again, $16.2 billion worth of market cap. Number nine, our old friend, the mystery, that is TonCoin. Looking a little bit lighter this week. See what I did there? About five and a quarter versus six dollars last week. Also about almost $21 billion worth of market cap last week. This week, 18 and a quarter billion. So taking a little bit of the bloom off the TonCoin rose. Are you in on TonCoin? Are you all about this, this TonCoin <laughs> that seems to be... Uh, Holding a spot in the bottom of our top 10 every week, yet none of our guests know much about it at all. <laughs> kind of a mystery going out there. Either way, number nine. Number eight, you know what it is. Maybe you love it, maybe you hate it. Musk loves it, apparently. It's Doge. Coming in at number eight, 20.4 billion. This time last week, it was about 23.2, so a little bit of the bloom coming off the rose there. Number seven, XRP, 28.4 billion. Number six, USD coin, because of course it is, 33.5 billion. Number five, Solana, 60 Point two billion Solana last week was sixty nine point three billion, so losing over nine billion worth of market cap this week for Solana. Number four BNB eighty seven billion. Number three it's Tether one hundred and ten billion. Number two it's ETH three eighty seven. Last week ETH was coming in at three eighty four, so actually gaining three billion worth of market cap. And good old BTC uh, one point two four billion. Last week it was one point three one. So interesting evolution in the top 10. Uh, let's get out there right now and see how things are shaping up. At the start of the show, we had Bitcoin 3176, almost unched from where it was this time last week. It was at 3199. Uh, the high come in today, 3264. So a wee bit higher earlier today than it was now. The low came on Friday of 31 and a quarter out there. Let's get out to the vol, see what's popping off. Let's start in seven day and work our way out as we are wont to do. Last show, it was at a 70 this week, at a 69. In terms of the 30-day vol, going a little bit farther out, listeners. Last show, we were at a 70 and a quarter. This week, 57.3. So, vol, coming in aggressively <laughs> out there in uh, ETH, kind of across the board. So, I guess a week of treading water ain't going to do it from a vol perspective. Going out six months, how's that looking out there? Last week, nearly an 80, 77 and two thirds. This week, 69.1. So, vol coming in pretty much across the board. Is that the same for skew listeners? Let's find out. Seven day skew last week, predominantly negative, negative two and a half. This week, positive two and a half. So, fully swinging five points uh, to the upside. 30 day skew, negative two and a half. This week, negative one and a half. So, 
Still negative, not quite as bearish. And going out longer term, kind of like ETH, interesting. Maybe the holders are taking this opportunity, a little bit of a dip to buy some more. Either way, it was two and three quarters to the positive side. Last week, this week, a positive three. Fascinating. Let's keep running out here, listeners, and see what's popping off. Let's go to our old friend, Solana, listeners. Like said, Solana giving up some of the ghosts. 154 and a half last week, 134. 60 or so this week, so down about 19 handles. Taking some of the bloom off that rose as well, a rough week for the Solana holders out there. XRP, 54 cents last week, 51 cents this week, so giving up about 3 cents there as well. Doge, like we said, already dropping 16 cents last week, 14.1 this week. And then bringing up the rare out here, Cardano, 51 cents last week, 45 cents this week. So dropping a little over six, almost seven cents on the week. Polka dot seven forty six last week, six fifty five this week, down ninety one cents. And everyone's favorite Shiba Inu, almost literally unched on the week. Before we get out of here, though, listeners, let's dive really quickly into a little bit of the crypto questions. You've got questions about crypto? Who doesn't? It's time to find out the answers to your crypto questions. All right, everybody, let's get out of here on this one this week. Really quickly, I want to put it to you folks out there uh, because it's kind of fun. We are going down to the Options Industry Conference this week, and we get to talk to a lot of people down there. And one of the interesting things about it is we get to ask them a lot of fun questions, all the movers and shakers from the world of options. So I thought we'd turn the tables on you folks this week and see what do you folks have on the brain what should we be talking to everyone about down there? We gave you three choices and the infamous other. Impact of zero-day options, 24-hour stock trading, can the volume surge continue, or other. A lot of interesting write-ins for others. One of the ones people have suggested is, what's the holdup with the options on the Bitcoin ETFs? People have wanted those. The ETFs were approved back in January. I'm not sure if we'll get a chance to talk to the regulators down there, but we will talk to a lot of exchange reps and others out there, so... Uh, the heads of the exchanges might have some insight for us, maybe some of the clearers out there. So we'll see what we can do to suss that out for you. If you have some other crypto derivatives type of questions that we can maybe discuss down there, remember, it is a listed options conference. So, But all the names talk about, Bitto and Mara, those are all obviously listed options. So if they dovetail with the securities world in some aspect, we can get the answers for you down there. So if you have intriguing crypto questions, by all means, send them to us. Right now, 75% of you folks are saying you want to talk about what is all the rage, the impact of zero DTE options? All right, that is going to do it for the Just the Facts, ma'am, edition of the Crypto Rundown this week. I'll be heading off to the Options Industry Conference immediately after this show. So look for some fun content hitting the network. It'll be hitting the pro first. So if you want to go down there, check that out early, get access to the giveaways, the pro Q&As, options oddities, everything else. Only one place to go, theoptionsinsider.com slash pro. Then stay tuned to the network throughout the rest of the week. You'll have Options Boot Camp coming at you on Wednesday. I will be beaming in to Twifo and the Option Block on Thursday from the conference. That should be fun. And then Friday, back in the studio for a little bit of vol views and options oddities for our pro folks before I return again next Monday, another episode of the Crypto Rundown. Stay safe out there, everybody. The Crypto Rundown is brought to you by Amber Data. If you're entering the digital asset class, you'll need access to granular on-chain and market data from multiple venues to power research, trading, risk management, and compliance. Amber Data delivers comprehensive data and insights into blockchain networks, crypto markets, and decentralized finance, empowering financial institutions to apply traditional finance methods to digital assets. Amber Data eliminates the infrastructure setup, integration challenges, and maintenance headaches to access digital asset data, reducing cost and time to market to enter the digital asset class. Learn more and download their digital asset data guide at www.amberdata.io. You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available on the iTunes and Google Play stores. 
select programs are also available via live stream at Mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at Twitter.com slash options, StockTwits.com slash options, Facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. <laughs> 